Hey, hey there, it's Krista here from Activate Her Awesome. And I was actually asked this question in a mastermind that I'm in. And I thought I would put together this tutorial for everybody because I know many of you are going to have the same request. And it is when you have an Instagram story like this, how are people putting like custom buttons on their story so that it doesn't look like the regular Instagram thing. Okay, so here's what you need to do in order to make this work. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a story size slide with your information on it. So in this case, I just got access training. I've got a picture that I put on here. And then I put these words here, which is ready to learn more. And this is where I am going to put my button. Okay, so the first step is to create your slide. Make sure that your background color is set to one of your brand colors. That's kind of the key. All right, now let's go to the next step. The next step is to create a image in Canva that is 1080 by let's say 200 pixels high, and then you're going to create the new design. Okay, that's right here. Now what we're going to do here is we are going to um, bring in a rectangle. So to do that, you can just go up here and you can come in here to shapes and pick that, or you can just literally press the R key and it's going to bring it up. Then what you're going to do is you're going to make this look like a button. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger. It is important in this case, in order to do this, I am using the uh, paid version of Canva and for this to look really good, I guess, I mean, there is a way that we could cheat it, I suppose. So the cheat would be to make sure that your leaving a white border that's about the same width all the way around. And that will kind of cheat this look for you. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you position so it's exactly in the center. Okay, so you just kind of double tap in there to put your text. Okay, can't see this at all, but that's okay. I'm gonna select all the text and let's just make it like bigger. I've gotta spell it right. Uh, okay, and then maybe what I wanna do is I wanna make this text white. And one tip that I can give you is if you increase the letter spacing, I'm gonna try 300, uh, it makes it a little bit more readable, okay? And maybe I don't want this font, maybe I want, I don't know, Proxima Nova is one that I like to use, and maybe I want like the bold version. So there, I'm, I'm kind of digging this. So the only other thing I need to do is make sure that the background color is the exact same color as the background of the story slide that we're going to be uploading to link the button on, okay? That's the key. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and let's download this version. And I'm just gonna download it because I don't need to have a transparent background. But what I am gonna do next is show you how to also adjust this if you have Canva Pro. So if you have Canva Pro, basically what you're going to do is you're gonna to wanna to create your button. You're going to to wanna to come in here to border styles and add a border weight to it. Let's maybe try like three pixels and change the color of the border to white, okay? And then in this case, we might wanna change the letters so that it's a little bit smaller there. I like about that much space. And then all you have to do is kind of center this and then you download this. This one you're going to download with a transparent background. All right, next up is we're gonna hop over to Instagram. So I am gonna flash open my iPad and record the rest of the video there so you can see how to actually put all this together. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I made sure that I sent those images that I created in Canva to my phone. So here's my story slide that I want to load up. So I'm gonna go into Instagram and I'm actually gonna go into maybe not this account. I'm gonna go into a test account that I have just to show you here because I don't really wanna post this on my feed. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to, oh my gosh, stop. You're going to open your stories and you're going to add to your story. Then you're going to select the uh, story slide that you created in Canva. Okay, so the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're gonna add your link. So you would just add your link here, whatever it is. Okay, and then you're going to make this link as small as you can make it, okay? So that's kind of like the first thing that you need to do. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into the stickers and you're going to look for the one that is add the image. So for me, that's showing up next to the temperature on the right. 
and it actually has an image behind it and then it kind of has like this little it looks like an image graphic over it so i'm going to tap that and then i'm going to add in my sticker and then i just have to make that sticker a little bit bigger than the area boom and then if i click done and share to my stories watch what happens when i come in here boom i click this link and i can visit the link that's how you do it ladies great way to add some real interest to your instagram stories and make custom buttons hope you're having an amazing day and make sure you subscribe and follow for more tips